Hey guys, I just gave you that hurricane video, so I'm gonna give you your lesson for the day. And remember, if you didn't read my directions, there is no reading lesson for the day. We are gonna start fiction on Monday. Um, that is granted if we have our electricity. Uh, who knows if our electricity is gonna be running with the hurricane coming. But uh, if we have electricity, I will be putting up some fiction um, assignment for you on Monday and a math assignment because next week is our last week, our last five days. And then the following Monday, uh, me and all the teachers get to go back to Mary C. Williams to, uh, to start getting ready for online learning for you guys, which is going to be amazing because all of y'all are going to log into the computer. I know, right? So let's go over the lesson for the day. Um, this is a little tougher than it looks. I'm gonna try to write and do this and film myself at the same time. So remember yesterday we were talking about, we're going to add, um, decimals. So when you're adding decimals, that decimal is extremely, extremely important when you're adding decimals. Okay. Because you have to line them up. Okay. Now I'm going to give you all your problems today in a horizontal fashion. Okay. Because I want you to stack the numbers and when i'm talking about stacking is i want you to put them on top of one another okay now it's not always the rule that you have to put the bigger number up top when you're adding but you do when you're subtracting and when you're multiplying the bigger numbers got to go up top okay so it's a good practice for you to put the larger number up on top okay so if you look before the decimal, you got a 27 and a 6. Which one's the bigger one? Well, I hope that all of you said the 27. So you're going to go 27 and 3 tenths plus 6 and 7 tenths. So I'm going to line 6 and 7 tenths up. Draw my line and look at my decimals. They're lined up. That's exactly how you want them. You want them stacked up on one another. If you go and you go 7 plus 3 is 0. I carry my 1. 7 plus 6 is what? 13 plus 1 more is 14. Carry your 1 again. 2 plus 1 is 3. You bring your decimal straight down, and your answer should be 34. Okay? So that's how I want you to do these problems today. Let's do another one. All right. Here I have 1 and 7 tenths plus 8 and 32 hundredths. Okay? Don't get freaked out about that 2 right there. That's just the hundred spot, so it's no big deal. Which one of these is the larger number? Now, I'm not talking about the longest number, but which one's the biggest whole number? Is it one or is it eight? Well, obviously, you guys are in fourth grade. Going into fifth grade, you obviously know that eight is larger than one. So, eight is going to go on top, okay? Eight and 32 hundredths plus one and seven tenths. Now you might be asking yourself, what about that little spot right there, Mr. Allen? He's all alone, there's nobody there. Well, you can go add a zero if you want to. You don't have to, because you're gonna get two anyway, okay? Just come straight down, two plus zero is two, three plus seven is 10, carry your one, eight plus one is nine plus one more is 10. You're gonna get 10 and two hundredths, okay? That one's pretty easy. Now, I'm going to throw you for a loop on this one, people. This one's going to maybe be a little tougher than you think. Now, look at that. I got 17 and 4 tenths plus 12. Okay? Now, I know you think, where's the decimal, Mr. Allen? Where's the decimal, sir? Well, the decimal is there. But when you write a whole number, if there is nothing after it, you don't have to put the decimal. Like, let's say y'all's age. Would you write down your age as 11.0? Would you do that? I don't think so. You just write, hey, I'm 11. You know, I don't need to put a and zero tenths at the end, but that decimal is always at the end. Okay, so you can put 12 and zero tenths. Now you go and you stack them and you got the decimal now. So you can go 17 and four tenths plus... 12 and 0 tenths, and that's super easy. 4 plus 0 is 4, 7 plus nine, 2 is 9, 1 plus 1 is 2, and you get 29 and 4 tenths, okay? So make sure you know that if you get a whole number just like that on these problems, that that decimal 
is at the end and you can add that zero if you want to just to make sure you know that you added it okay i'm going to give you a couple of them so make sure you're paying attention 